So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now this video is going to be a selection of trophy highlights from sort of the last week-ish I would say. We have quite a few actually to go through and once again we're going to be starting off with a few moose clips. Now some of you may know if you have seen the video but I did recently get my second Great One Moose here on Medved and some of these clips were before that and a couple of them were from after when I decided to just shoot a few more moose and see what would happen. And we're going to th go through these clips quite quickly as I know that I have been sharing a lot of moose trophy clips in these trophy videos recently. I do just like to share them though so that you can see what I've been doing and what I've actually been grinding and how it's been going. I always like to try and keep you guys updated with that just so that if you know a great one does show up or anything that it's not completely unexpected. And I did actually get really lucky with some very nice trophy moose, honestly. And then obviously the great one showed up, which was just completely unexpected. And I'm so amazed that I did actually get a second great one moose. But this also now leads into something else that I want to talk about as these clips play in the background. So I did end up shooting a few more moose on Medved after my great one spawned just to see what would happen and, you know, if I was going to get insanely lucky and have another great one pop quite quickly, which I know is something that has happened to quite a few people in the community. So I shot a few more moose, but rearranging my trophy lodge recently i realized that there is another great one that, that i really would like to get a second one of and that is the black bear now i know that great one black bear are incredibly rare and i honestly i love my great one black bear that i got way back when they first got released it took you know a, over four thousand kills and I absolutely love that trophy. It's one of my absolute favourites. They are so incredibly rare and so incredibly beautiful. But I really, really would love at some point to get a second Great One Black Bear so that I can do the Great One multi-mount, basically. Um, there's the multi-mount with the two Black Bears fighting. And, you know, having a Great One multi-mount with two Great One Black Bears, I think, in that mount would be really, really cool. You know, it's like with the huddle whitetail or, you know, with fallow deer coming up, doing a huddle fallow great one. There's just something about doing multi-mounts with great ones that really appeals to me. And I would really love to have two great one black bear. I love the great one black bears. I think they are absolutely stunning. I love all of the variations. So I have been over on Silver Ridge Peaks since, well, in the past couple of days now shooting a few black bear and just seeing what happens i'm not fully grinding i'm not really you know com like fully committing and doing 12 hour days sort of thing if that makes sense but i'm just going on there when there's no multiplayer sessions open and going and shooting a few black bear and maybe one shows up maybe it doesn't but at some point i really would love to get another great one black bear i think it would be a really cool thing to have in the lodge so that's what I'm doing at the moment. So if somehow I get stupidly lucky and a great one black bear does actually show up, then you guys know that I have actually been there shooting some black bears. Again, I like to just talk about it in videos so that if a great one shows up, it's not so unannounced and it's not just, oh, so you were grinding moose and now you have a great one black bear that's shown up. So I just like to talk about that where I can and update you with what I'm actually working on. So while there's, because there's not been a whole lot of multiplayer sessions open recently for things like Revon Thule, where I've been going after Diamond Mountain Hair, and you know even when there has been a few sessions open, I've been going through them, and then once they you know, once I've hunted them, you know then what do I do? So then I've been going into single player, and I had been grinding moose, and now I'll be grinding black bear. So maybe one 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 might might show up maybe it doesn't obviously once emerald coast released with the great one fallow deer then i'll be going after a great one fallow deer but it's just something that at some point i'd really love to get so why not just in this bit of spare time shoot a few black bears and just see see what happens maybe i get really really lucky and maybe i get one really quick i don't expect that to happen but you know if you don't try then you never know but we just took down this really big diamond moose with the recurve, 298.04. And of course, this is the biggest rack for a diamond moose. So I was really happy to see one of these really giant moose actually show up. But 
I actually got one that was even bigger. Now, when I decided to attempt what you're about to see, I didn't realise how big this guy was actually going to be. Now, you may have seen one of my previous videos where I had decided to try and hip shot a couple of diamond moose with the recurve. Well, I decided when I saw this particular big rack level 5, why not try and make him go aggressive and take him with a hip shot with the recurve? Why not try it? And sure enough, after a couple of attempts, managed to get him to go aggressive here. And I managed to get close to him, line up my shot, and take a hip shot on him with the recurve. Which, as you will see, got through to the vitals. And he actually didn't go very far before he went down. And he is a really big looking level 5. Obviously, this is the big rack. And he's you know got the potential to be a really really big bull so i was really excited that i actually managed to put this guy down with a hip shot i thought that was something a little bit extra special but i didn't expect this when i picked him up he's max weight and he's my new personal best at 301.15 that is a very big moose that is my personal best by quite a bit. I am really, really super happy with that. I didn't expect him to be that big. My previous personal best was just over 300. This guy beats it by a, quite a bit. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. That's a really big bull moose. They don't get a whole lot bigger than that. So I'm super, super stoked. Taking my personal best diamond moose with a hip shot with the recurve. That probably couldn't have gone any better if I, you know, planned it, basically. If I dreamt it. That was just amazing. I, honestly, when I decided I was going to try and hip shot it, you know, I could never have expected that he was going to score that. And, like I say, if you planned it or you wrote it, it couldn't have gone any better. I was super, super stoked about that. Now, while grinding moose, I got attacked by a pack of wolves, which had a particularly interesting specimen amongst them now i actually had to run away from them the first time and then go and get the right arrows and come back and find them later but as you'll see we have a level seven red brown gray wolf which the red browns used to be an uncommon but they are now actually a rare and this is the first red brown i have actually seen since they became a rare now, I did try to take out a couple of the others with the recurve, and as you will have seen, I ended up dead. But we did get the red-brown down with the recurve. The arrow's looking a little bit weird there, kind of out of the body, but just such a beautiful-looking wolf. And I never really paid much attention to them before, because they were just an, un an uncommon, but now they're a rare. I actually was like, really, I can appreciate just how gorgeous these guys are. The arrows did a good job there just getting through to the lung. A little bit of a close call with that shot, but it did get there. But what a beautiful looking wolf. And it's been talked about that there has been a few sort of model changes for the wolves, that there were certain improvements that were made to them kind of subtly. And I can actually see that. I haven't really hunted wolves a whole lot since that happened. But looking at this red brown, it does definitely look different to the red browns I remember. So that was really cool. It's such a beautiful looking wolf. Really, really happy to actually get this guy. And, you know, maybe I can get an albino or a mela or something and do a multi-mount with that eventually. Really, really cool to actually get that. And it was just chilling on my own map. Now we're moving over to Revon Tuli for a few clips and we've got a couple of Diamond Capicales to get us started. To start off with we have this decent size 4.71 which as you will have seen actually went aggressive and actually came and charged me so that was pretty cool. I absolutely love the Capicale. If you have watched any of my videos you probably have heard me talk about them before. They're my favourite bird in game. I think they're absolutely fantastic. And not only did I have one go aggressive, but I actually had a second one go aggressive. And this one was quite a bit bigger. This one was almost max weight and max score, being 4.95 on the weight and 4.97 on the score. That is my second biggest Diamond Capicale ever. 
and it actually came at me aggressive which is just so cool i love seeing these guys go aggressive it's both amazing and hilarious they're just so fantastic and the decision to give them aggressive animations i think is just absolutely fantastic i'm so so glad that they did that now it wouldn't be a Revon Tuli video without some kind of waterfowl hunting and I saw this level 3 mallard go flying up above me when I was actually hunting around in this particular area and I had no idea what plumage type he was or anything so I came and put some decoys down and he did actually come in. Now he is just the common black brown plumage type but even still with the remodel that these guys got with Revon Tuli they are so pretty and I've said this before but they do look absolutely absolutely stunning. Now he's only a small diamond at 19.79 but again it's another diamond I'm super happy to have gotten him and he's absolutely beautiful. I think that the ducks kind of go unappreciated sometimes with how beautiful they actually are and the details on them so I absolutely love hunting them just because they are just so beautiful and I think very very underrated. Just a really gorgeous looking bird. And talking of gorgeous looking birds, over on the what I now call Duck Island, the island down in the south of Revontuli, I ended up finding another level 3 Eurasian teal. Now, I always come down here in most multiplayer sessions and I set up a lot of decoys for all of the different ducks and I basically hope for diamonds and rares to come in and sure enough, this time we had a beautiful dark green level 3 diamond Eurasian teal. 354.43 on the score, so just barely makes diamond, but still, another absolutely beautiful bird. They did such a fantastic job on the Eurasian teal models. I think they look so fantastic. Just stunning. And then moving on to this next clip, and we do actually have a rare. This time it's an Eclipse male Goldeneye. Now, I actually really like the Eclipse plumage types for the different ducks. I think they look fantastic. This is my second Eclipse Goldeneye. And I just think they're so unique and I think it's such a cool thing that they actually put it in game. And I always talk about this if I do end up finding Eclipse birds or when I have ended up finding them. That this is actually a thing in real life. Eclipse is an actual thing in real life. It's when the birds are going between breeding plumage and winter plumage. So they're losing those really brightly coloured feathers and becoming a bit more drab over the winter. And that's why they end up looking a bit more like females. Which is why this kind of looks like a female but it's actually a male and I highly recommend that if you haven't actually seen anything about eclipse birds in real life go and look it up it's really really interesting and I absolutely love it it makes the geeky nerdy side of me really happy seeing things like this in game I think it's really really cool now we're moving over to New England mountains for a clip and we have something that I actually really needed to find in game that being a legendary bobcat now I did have diamond Mexican bobcats but I did not have a diamond bobcat just the normal bobcat that you find on New England mountains so technically it's kind of something that I kind of had a diamond of already if you count Mexican bobcats and bobcats as the same but I know that some people count them as like separate species because they have the different names so it was something that I wanted to get was just a normal diamond bobcat off of New England so I was really really excited to actually get this guy in multiplayer and he does make diamond at 28.1 absolutely fantastic I was super super stoked about this because it crosses off something that I technically needed to get I really wanted to get a diamond bobcat so that I had bobcat and Mexican bobcat so super happy about that it was one of the the things that I was sort of less urgently looking for it you know it's not a completely unique species compared to the mexican bobcat but i did really want to get one and this server was at the perfect time and i managed to find one really quickly so super happy about that in a previous video i was given a tip that mississippi is really really good for green wing teal and i want to say a huge thank you to the person that gave me this recommendation because i needed a diamond green wing teal and while this isn't a diamond green wing teal in this clip, 
as you can see, we have another beautiful piebald. So I had a piebald in my last trophy highlights video, but she looked completely different to this one. This has a completely different pattern to that first piebald I got, and it is just equally as stunning. I think this looks so, so gorgeous. And, you know, even as a female, I think it is really beautiful. I really want to try and get some rare males, but the females are just as pretty. And that's something I love about especially the waterfowl, is that when you find the females, they're just as elegant and majestic and gorgeous as some of their male counterparts. And obviously sometimes the females have unique looks to the males as well, which I think is really fantastic. And yeah, just a gorgeous bird with that. And those white feathers amongst sort of the browns and then you have the green wing feathers there really really gorgeous little bird and i was super super happy to end up finding this while looking for that diamond green wing teal and then this happened so basically i had hunted my own map a little bit for green wing teal and i didn't see anything good but i ended up finding this particular spot whilst testing you know looking for good spots along the coast for you know green wing teal looking for the good spots that they would actually show up and i found this little spot after some testing and i hadn't actually looked at it on my own map so i came to this spot on my own map put some decoys in exactly the same place as i just had them for that piebald but of course on my own map rather than multiplayer and this guy comes in a level three green wing teal that is one of the last diamonds that i need in the entire game and I was hoping that this guy was going to make it. He didn't have a guaranteed estimate, but picking him up, he just barely makes diamond at 481.33. That ticks off another diamond that I needed. And the only two unique species diamonds I needed were green winged teal and mountain hare. And then bobcat were kind of like, I need them, but they're not kind of like a unique species. They're something that I kind of already have. So... In this, I managed to get the bobcat ticked off, so I now don't have to worry about bobcat. And now one of the more unique species diamonds that I really needed, the green wing teal, is now ticked off of the list. So all I need now for diamonds currently in game before the release of Emerald Coast is the mountain hare. And that's a very tricky one. They have been quite mean to me. I've picked up a lot of max weight estimate tracks that have all led to level twos. So I'm going to keep hunting and hopefully I'll be able to find a level 3 mountain hare eventually. So my project between the now and the release of Emerald Coast is going to be bears and hares. And hopefully, you know, maybe something good will happen for one of those species. And, you know, fingers crossed. And never know what shows up along the way. But I was super happy to finally get a diamond green wing teal. Stunning bird. Now, moving back over to Revon Tuli for the final clips of this video... And we have a couple of rares that I was super excited to get. Starting off with this obviously different mountain hare. Now, I knew she was a rare, but I didn't know if she was a white, which is rare, or if she was an albino, which is of course rare. But when I saw her scratching her ear with her foot, I thought I saw pink. And from what I had seen of pictures of mountain hare, they had sort of pinkish looking feet. So... I thought she was an albino and as soon as I walked over to her, I could definitely see that she definitely was an albino. Absolutely incredible little beautiful hair. Like, I just can't believe I actually found one. I It's insane to me that I haven't managed to find a diamond, but I have had two rares, an albino and a molting. And this albino is just stunning, just such a gorgeous little creature. I can't believe I ended up finding one. I've seen a few of these posted, but they're just really rare to come across. The mountain hare rares and diamonds are just harder to find. You know, these guys aren't the easiest things to hunt. You have to just get lucky in finding them in areas where they normally are. They, You know, there's not always going to be mountain hares in the same place on every map. So, yeah, I got really lucky finding this. I'm so happy. And you can see what I mean. She's kind of got the, the pinkish colour in the feet. And that's what made me think she was an albino when I was looking through the scope. And, yeah, I can't believe that I actually got an albino mountain hair. She is so, so pretty. I am absolutely stoked about being able to add this to the trophy lodge. What a gorgeous, gorgeous animal. Now, moving on to the next clip... And you can see we have some tundra bean geese. 
And this particular one was something that I had spotted flying overhead and I actually put some decoys down to try and bring in. And you may be able to see it now a little bit better that she's on the ground. This one is something a little bit special. And I knew she was when I saw her fly overhead, but I didn't know exactly what variant she was. But she is a leucistic and it's actually the leucistic pattern that I really wanted to get. She is absolutely stunning with those blue eyes and the white coloured feathers. What a gorgeous, gorgeous goose. And you can see there, leucistic. Absolutely fantastic. When I saw her flying overhead, I really thought that, you know, that has to be a leucistic. That looks different. But I couldn't tell what pattern it was or anything. And when it came in and landed, I actually wasn't sure where it was because the flock came in and I couldn't make out where she was. And then I saw her at the back and the thing I could see was the white head. And wow, how gorgeous is that? Just a fantastic looking rare. I really would like to get some leucistic uh, grey lag geese as well because all the patterns for them look really fantastic. But this specific pattern was what I really wanted for the tundra bean geese. So this variant is really, really cool. I just think it looks the most unique. And I already do have one leucistic bean goose, but it looks completely different to this. So I was super, super stoked about actually getting this. And, you know, with it being multiplayer... I always get really nervous when you see something flying overhead. You know, you've got to hope that it will come into the decoys. And I've had birds be so difficult about coming back into decoys after they've been spooked from an area. So I was really, really relieved that she actually did come in. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous bird. So, so awesome. And I'm super stoked to be able to add it to the trophy lodge. Those blue eyes against that white head looks just incredible to me. I think that's just such a unique and beautiful looking bird. I love finding these rares on Revon Thule. There's so many cool ones and I've been lucky to harvest quite a few of them now and there's still loads to go after, which is why Revon Thule is one of my absolute, fa well, it is my absolute favourite mapping game at the moment. Emerald Coast is probably going to be up there, but this is my definite favourite at the moment. And finally, here I am tracking something quite special. And again, with this being multiplayer, I was extremely nervous about, you know, disconnecting and potentially losing this trophy. But there he is, right there. It is a black grouse. And I knew he was a rare as soon as I spotted him initially. And don't mind me nearly equipping the 308 and then accidentally jumping. I was panicking because I didn't expect him to pop up right in front of me. And I wasn't sure if I actually hit him there. So I was just checking here and I did actually get him. No organs hit, but you can see medium bleed rate. So he's not going to have gone very far at all. And he is just led up here in these trees. And oh my gosh, this was something that when I initially spotted him, I got super excited. And by the time I'd hit record, he'd already flown off. It is a melanistic black grouse. How cool is this? I have never had a rare male black grouse. I've only had rare females. I've only had the orange variant for the females. And I really, really, really wanted to find some rare males because I think the black grouse are absolutely stunning. And there he is, a melanistic male black grouse. Melanistic. How cool is that? Now, there's a couple of different variants for the melanistics. This one is really unusual because it has those sort of silvery white feathers, which you wouldn't expect on a melanistic. It's almost more like piebald. But it looks amazing. It's absolutely gorgeous. And the other feathers are more dark than you'd see on another, like, normal black grouse, which I guess is the melanistic variant part of it. And, like, there's, like, an almost, like, oil stain sort of sheen to it. I don't know how else to describe it. The iridescence is really stunning in those feathers, especially in the tail feathers there. What a gorgeous looking bird. Honestly, I can't believe I managed to find one of these. I am so, so stoked about it. I've really wanted to find some rare black grouse. I've just never got lucky with finding the rare males. And then this guy shows up. And, you know, most male black grouse do make gold, but for him to be a gold as well is just... It is so fantastic. I am so stoked about actually finally having one of these for the Trophy Lodge. I absolutely love collecting the rares, as I was just saying in the previous clip. And I love all the birds. And getting some more rare birds for the Trophy Lodge, I'm absolutely thrilled. 
But that is going to be it for this one. So I really hope you have enjoyed it. A lot of trophies to cover in this one. I've been pretty lucky in the past, you know, past week or so, I'd say. And yeah, I've just got really, really, really lucky again. And hopefully we'll manage to find a Diamond Mountain hair. I'm going to be working really hard to try and get one before Emerald Coast releases. But even if I don't get one, Rev on is a map I'm going to keep returning to anyway. So I feel like it's one that eventually one day I'll get lucky enough to find, hopefully. But, you know, I spend so much time hunting the upland birds that, you know, that's where the mountain hare tend to be. They tend to be in those spots. So hopefully one day it will just all align and one will finally show up. But fingers crossed, I'm going to try my best to get one before Emerald Coast. But yeah, that's that's what I've been doing. I've been shooting a few really nice animals and I've been really, really excited to share this video with you. I have been working a little bit on early access for Emerald Coast and... Yeah, I really couldn't wait to put this video out, but I had to wait until today. So super excited to finally share this with you all. But that is going to be it for this one. So thank you so, so much for watching and for all your support as always. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.